So we have a lot of people that are looking for condos to either purchase or to invest in, and they're asking about the different areas on the Emerald Coast. A lot of people are asking about the beaches in Destin, and Miramar Beach, 30A, um, but some people don't even realize there's also Okaloosa Island and Walton Beach. Um, so the beach is just as beautiful out here. Just as beautiful as all of the other beaches. Okaloosa Island, again, is just part of Walton Beach. Um, if you're looking for condos to live in or to invest in, uh, there's a whole strip of condos on Santa Rosa Boulevard on Okaloosa Island. Um, it's just three miles of beautiful beach. Very beautiful beach out here. They still enjoy the white sands, the beautiful emerald green waters. Um, there's also a fishing pier, the Okaloosa Island Fishing Pier, where you can just go for a nice little stroll or go fishing, of course. Um, and there's also the boardwalk behind me as well, just past the uh, fishing pier. Uh, the boardwalk has definitely grown over the years. I remember going there when I was um, in middle school, uh, back in the early 90s. <laughs> but now it is, uh, they've built out um, some additions there on the boardwalk. So there's some restaurants, there's uh, the Crab Trap, uh, there is Rockin' Tacos, uh, Floyd's Shrimp House, and a couple other places too. There's a little retail stores and um, ice cream shop there as well. Um, so it's a cute little place to hang out. Uh, you know, if you've got friends out or your family, uh, little children, great place to go. There's a little playground out on the sand too. To play volleyball. Um, I know annually there's a, a volleyball tournament. There's a kite festival that they have every year as well out on the island. Um, and then it's a be beautiful place to, to catch the fireworks too. Again. You can get to one of those, these condos and enjoy a view from your balcony. As of right now, um, it is mid-January, I'm sorry, mid-February 2023. Um, the cheapest condo on the market right now is $230,000. And that's a one bedroom, one bath. And it's not on the beach, but it's on the other side. It's on the sound side. So even if you're on the sound side of Okaloosa Island, um, you are still walking distance, definitely walking distance. I mean, it's right across the street here, <laughs> right across the street. Um, so some of these condos don't necessarily have a beach view or water view, but you're still walking distance. Um, and the most expensive uh, condo on the market right now is uh, just under 1.5 million. And it's a four bedroom uh, condo. Uh, and it doesn't even, that particular condo doesn't even have a beach view, but it does, it's right by the pool. Um, I believe it's in a blue condo. Um, again, that's just under 1.5. So you see the price ranges out here on Okaloosa Island. Uh, they, they do vary, <laughs> there's a wide range. Um, but to get one of these beachfront condos, like you see here, um, I mean, they could range anywhere from uh, 400 up to well over a million. Um, so it really just depends on your budget. Um, even if you do get a condo that's in a building right on the beach, it might not have the best views. It might be you know kind of off to the side um, to where you have to step out on your balcony and then look to the left or right and see the beach. Um, but I know most people, they do want to be able to sit out on the balcony and just enjoy the, the sunset, the sunrise, the sound of the, the waves. I mean, who wouldn't enjoy that? Um, so yes, uh, there's also the side that's on the, the bay, the Choctahatchee Bay. So there are some condos over there a little further, um, a little further east up Miracle Strip Parkway, past the boardwalk. There's some more condos out there. There's some hotels as well. Um, if you're looking for things to do out here on Okaloosa Island, there's the um, there's Wild Willie's Adventure Zone. Great place for kids. Um, it's a nice little spot for date night too. They do have miniature golf out there. There's arcades. Um, there's some go-karts too. And there's also the golf area, which is actually right here behind me. The golf area, if you want to see some uh, sea lions, dolphins, all that good stuff, they're actually expanding that as well. They're building a dolphin oasis. I believe they're expected to be completed with that by uh, the spring of 2023, give or take. Um, so yes, the Gulfarium itself is also growing. Uh, lots of new de developments in the area. They're building, still building new condos out here. Oh, another question a lot of people ask if uh, pets are allowed on the beach. Unfortunately, the public beach uh, does not allow um, for you to bring your, your furry friends out here, but there are some local dog parks. Um, there is Liza Jackson Park is my favorite one. It's in Broughton Beach. Just a couple miles up the road. Um, there, it's a dog beach where you can, it's not like literally right on the beach like this, but it's on the sound so they can still play in the water. And they have fenced, fenced uh, dog areas, one for uh, bigger dogs and then one for smaller dogs. So it's a great place if you do want to take your dogs out on a, a beautiful day like this. 
Um, and there's also in Destin, there's a, a dog park in Destin as well. Um, not necessarily a beach, but it's a, a big dog park for the, your, your dogs to run around. Um, and there's along Santa Rosa Boulevard, there's um, it's along the St. Strip where those condos are. There's restaurants, there's bars for you to enjoy. There's a little miniature golf area out there as well. A lot of people do like to uh, ride bikes and go for walks down Santa Rosa Boulevard. Um, so it's very, very great community out here. A lot of um, retirees live here. A lot of snowbirds come out to visit. There are a lot of people that have vacation rentals out here that they want to use for their family a few times a year or a couple times and just rent it out. Rent it out the rest of the time uh, just to earn that passive income and earn some of that money back <laughs> from, from when they purchased it. Um, but again, yeah, uh, Oakless Island here in Fort Walton Beach. Let's not forget about it. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool area. It's uh, just over the bridge from Fort Walton Beach and just a, a couple miles from Destin. So you're right in the middle there. You don't necessarily have to go all the way out to Destin or Miramar 30A to enjoy the beach. Okaloosa Island is, is just as great. So I just wanted to show you guys that um, for those who are asking and those who may not even have heard of Okaloosa Island. Um, there is, uh, if people are worried about where they need to get their necessities or need some groceries, just over the bridge, the Brooks Bridge going into Fort Walton, there's uh, Publix. Um, there's a Walgreens there, and there's also some more bars and restaurants over there too, um, and some food trucks. So there's a lot, lot going on in this area, and still growing, still growing. Um, so yeah, definitely make sure you keep Oglus Island on your list of places to check out if you are looking for a beach to hang out at, or if you are looking to invest in property or relocate to the beach. This is definitely one to keep on the list. Um, and there's also seven public beach access points here too. So if you don't find a place right on the beach and you're across the street, there are several access points to get to the beach. Um, they do include restrooms and showers, so that's always a plus. Um, but all right, uh, again, that's Oakloose Highland. I'm Stephanie Buena with the Whittemore Group at LPT Realty. Catch you in the next one.